This is a question for the Palestinian ambassador, for anybody else. My name is Stefano Vaccaro, I'm in New York. Uh, in practical terms, no, first of all, congratulations, Ambassador. And for, in practical terms, the, the resolution is not binding in the General Assembly. So in practical terms, what do you expect to happen in the next hours, next days? And then I have another question for you. Some countries that in those years have been friends, you consider friends of the Palestinian people, didn't vote for the resolution. What message do you have for those countries? Can I uh, just answer on the next steps, please? And first of all, I'd like to say, uh, add our thanks to the unity of the Arab group today and the unity of the membership, actually. 120 votes in this kind of geopolitical environment is a very, very high signal of the support uh, for international law, for uh, proportionate use of force that this body feels. Um, and it is a, re a rejection of the status quo that is currently happening on the ground in Gaza. Humanitarian aid must come in. There must be humanitarian ceasefires or truces to allow for those who have been injured and wounded to seek medical assistance. And these are binding resolutions in the General Assembly. They carry incredible weight and moral authority. So we will take, to answer your second question, we will take that moral authority that the GA has just pronounced itself on uh, and we will work uh, in the Security Council on an E10 proposal to try and break the gridlock that has held back a uh, council product on this matter. And I think the two will go hand in hand to reinforce what the international community has said today very clearly that it wishes to see. It wishes to see the protection of civilians, all civilians, but particularly the civilians that have lost their lives on the ground in Gaza uh, and those who could be losing their lives in Gaza if this uh, continues. It wishes to see humanitarian aid come in for those who need it so desperately, uh, and it wishes to see the upholding of international law. I think these are uh, yeah, any principles that we can all collectively agree upon. Uh, and, and those who voted in favor of the resolution, I think, were a resounding number, if you look at previous GA resolutions, in a very tense geopolitical environment. So thank you. Uh, let me just also add 